morning, sir. Good morning, Arif and Mira. Today, I want both of you to gather information about the Earth, its moon, and the sun. What do you mean by that, sir? We already know about them. Yes, sir. We already know all about the solar system. What I meant was, from the Earthlings point of view, like how they see the universe from their scientific investigations. Do you understand? Oh, now I get it. Yes, sir, we understand now. But in this case, we cannot go to Earth to see the big picture. We must go into space near the orbit. You are correct, Mira. I have inspected this matter and realized it already. So Alma will help you in these situations. Well, good luck, guys. I hope you have a safe journey. Wow! We are in outer space already! That's fast! Not really. Let's start, shall we? First, let's look at the Earth and moon movements. This is Earth. The Earth rotates on its axis. The Earth rotates on its axis from west to east. It takes 24 hours or one day for Earth to make one complete rotation. For your information, the Sun is the biggest object in the solar system. It does not move and stay in the center of the solar system. It provides light and heat to the planet. The Earth does not only rotate on its axis, but it also moves around the sun at the same time. The Earth takes 365 and a quarter days or one year to complete its movement around the sun. The Earth moves in its orbit. An orbit is a fixed path that an object moves in. In this case, the object is Earth. So, it's the Earth's orbit. The shape of the Earth's orbit is an ellipse. The moon rotates on its axis. It takes 28 days to make one complete rotation. As the moon rotates, it also moves around the Earth in its moon's orbit. The moon also takes 28 days to move around the Earth. Through the rotation of the Earth, the sun appears to rise in the east and set in the west. The position and length of a shadow changes throughout the day. It is this movement that forms day and night. The rotation of the Earth causes the length and direction of a shadow to change from morning to evening. Shadows change direction from west to east. In the morning, shadows fall to the west. The sun appears low in the early morning and late afternoon. This makes shadows 
longer in the early morning and late afternoon. The shadow is shortest at noon because the sun is directly above our heads. The length and position of a shadow can be used to show the time without a clock. Actually, that was the first clock that told the time. Alma, show the antique sundial that the ancient people on Earth used. The dial placed on the disc will cause a shadow to form during the day. The shadow will change as time passes. In terms of size and direction, the shadow will point at a different part of the scale that is marked on the disc. This is how people told time in the past. The rotation of the Earth causes the occurrence of day and night. At any one time, only one part of the Earth faces the sun and receives sunlight. That part will experience daytime. The other parts of Earth that do not face the sun experience nighttime. Day and night occur alternately due to the rotation of the Earth on its axis. At the equator, the length of the daytime and the length of the nighttime are the same. 12 hours each. Daytime and nighttime in the North Pole and South Pole are not equal in length. This is because the Earth's axis is inclined. In these two places, daytime is shorter during winter. During the summer, daytime is longer. Welcome to the moon! The moon is the Earth's nearest neighbour. For your information, the moon does not produce its own light. But it looks bright when we are on Earth. Do you know why? The moon appears bright when it reflects sunlight. Only the part of the moon that faces the sun is illuminated and reflects sunlight back to Earth. <laughs> See this? I'm weightless. <laughs> this is fun, but we have work to do. Remember, Arif? Okay, okay, about the phases of the moon. Do you know them? Let's have a look. Sometimes when we look at the moon, it is a full circle. Or we call it a full moon. But at other times, it is a crescent. And sometimes it becomes another shape. These various shapes of the moon as seen from the Earth are due to the orbiting of the moon around the Earth. These shapes are known as the phases of the moon. Remember this, guys. The moon does not change in shape. This is caused by the different positions of the moon that we see from the Earth. The four main phases of the moon are new moon, crescent, half moon and full moon. Let's study them closely. 
the new moon is hard to see unless we use a telescope. This is because the side of the moon that faces us is not being illuminated by the sun. The crescent occurs when a small part of the moon that is illuminated by the sun faces the earth. The half moon is seen by us when half of the moon appears to be illuminated by the sun. The full moon occurs when it is fully illuminated by the sun. The phases of the moon always go through a complete cycle and the same order each lunar month. Let me show you the phases of the moon for a month based on the date of the lunar calendar. Earthlings sure do know about their universe. They sure are smart. Did... Did you hear something? What? Why can't we be here? Our instructor sent us here. He has surely got us the permission. Isn't that right, Alma? What? No permission? 